we're going to be filming another video today featuring the GoPro and also we need to get these trucks washed yet again and it's only been like freaking two days since we washed them last and they need washed again I'm telling you guys these things are not easy to keep clean I don't care what anybody says in the comments about keep your truck clean keep your truck clean it is so freaking hard to keep a truck like this clean I can understand if it was one guy's baby and this is the only thing he had to take care of for 20 years but like when you've got a lot of vehicles that you drive it's hard to just swing by and wash it off when you're not always driving it it's like you gotta literally make time to go park the other truck come pick this one up take it to the wash wash it off then go back park it it's like it's a lot but anyways guys hopefully you're all doing great we are going to be taking this truck the giveaway truck and doing a zero to 60 run in this thing um reason for that we got some napa oil and transmission fluid there for the first gen uh, but the reason we're going to be doing that today is because there's a lot of people that want to know just how quick this truck is and now of course this truck may not be like a super fast zero to 60 truck as much as it might be awesome for on the track when you're doing like a quarter mile run and i'll tell you why these trucks okay are not the fastest thing even though the built trams are not the fastest truck out there zero to 60 okay that's not even with all the compound turbos all the stuff injector and all that jazz but what they're really 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 good at is like that 45 to 50 mile per hour when that overdrive locks in and this truck just launches and that's when it really gets good is because like once it locks up it takes it a little bit little bit to get to like 50 but once it locks up in 50 this thing will just launch you to 100 in so fast faster than it took you to get to from 0 to 50 you can get to 50 to 100 like just so so quick and that's where it's going to be kind of a little bit deceiving when you when we do this run it might be a little bit on the downside of what you were expecting zero to 60 but if you did like a 50 to 80 run or 50 to 100 run this thing would just freaking eat that number up like crazy in terms of um how much faster this truck can actually accelerate once it gets up to that speed but anyways guys let's get in the truck here in a bit and we're gonna do a little zero to 60. Before we actually get into the running of this truck down the road, we're gonna go through the list of stuff that's done to it. So when you guys do see this thing pull down the road, you guys understand what's powering it and you know what all has been done. So this truck, first off, I want to let you guys know that the engine was fully tore down and gone through in 2018. The truck has 238,000 miles on it. But what the guy actually did before fully building it is he actually took the truck and of course he's probably not like hey i'm going to take a 238,000 mile engine even though it's still got a lot of life and you know put a bunch of power on it so they took the engine out they actually fully went through this thing top to bottom and they redid everything all the seals and all that stuff and then um basically then once the engine was you know gone through then they built the thing you know accordingly so the engine was fully gone through and we're going to go through what all was done and this is the list that the previous owner here was given and he said hey this is what's done to the truck he's like you can um basically look at this list give it to whoever buys it so they kind of know what they're getting themselves into now he said that it's obviously it's a 5.9 cummins 21 i don't know what that means 21 timing in terms of the bigger turbo we're running an ht3b over an hx35 which the hx35 is your oem turbo it's running an aftermarket intercooler of course aem water meth injection six by 020 300 horsepower injectors there's your wastegate there it's a teal wastegate it says made in the usa full cut delivery valves 4k governor spring kit it's got an air dog and let me let me go over there and show you it's an air dog 165 and you can see that where is it at okay right there so there's your air dog it says the transmission was fully gone through and built in 2018 as well before they did all the power with a whole bunch of billet parts it's got a shift kit as well So it's got the deep transmission pan. It's got a lockup switch so that if you want to lock it up, you know, before 50 miles an hour, you can lock up that switch sooner if you're in like second or third and you're trying to, you know, get it to lock up a little bit faster. If, let's say you're pulling down the road or on the drag strip, you can do that. The body and paintwork was done in 2017. Everything that was all done in 2017. Cow hood is new, fourth gen bumper, 
all LED lights, of course, roll pan, all that stuff. So that's not really power stuff, but just a little bit of a background on the truck and when everything was done. But in terms of power, that's what you're looking at under the hood. We'll give you one more good look here. And for guys wondering what this is right here, this little weird looking weld, that's just a support bracket to go from this little bracket on the manifold that they used it to underneath down there on another clamp and they just have that there welded as like a support bracket to help hold that turbo in place. The weather has been literally so bad in Indiana, especially northern Indiana. Literally like the worst, crappiest weather ever. Like so bad. I've been trying to film this video today and it's just been like rain after rain after rain. And you all know with a twin turbo truck, you cannot film a true zero to 60 video of hammering down trying to get a good time with pouring rain. It just doesn't work and it's just how it is. So it's been a little bit of a pain in the butt. Actually, not like a little bit, like a lot. Not to mention, it's probably gonna make the audio here in this GoPro footage right now kind of crappy with all the rain hitting the windshield. But so anyways, we're gonna try our best to somehow film this video. Um, but like last night, for example, good old Indiana, we had two different tornadoes spotted in Indiana within like 15 minutes of where we're at. And then one was within like 15 minutes and another one was within about 30, 40 minutes from here. Just like, the weirdest weather we've ever had like just non-stop rain and storms every single day i kid you not every single day for over a month i mean it has been horrible not to mention i just started a lawn care business the, as you can imagine that's how that's going right now like we're getting all these clients and the clients are getting mad because we can't mow and i'm like i'm sorry it's weather like we can't mow your yard with standing water it's just how it is and then people get mad because they want it done but they don't understand a thing about lawn care and how it's done so you know it's just been all around really complicated with this weather but hopefully today we can still try to manage some kind of zero to 60 for you guys even if it's not a true zero to 60 and we might have to do like a rolling start because we need traction we'll figure something out miraculously i think we found some dry pavement i don't know if they didn't get the rain that we were getting earlier across town on this side we're gonna try to do the zero to 60 run i know you guys can't see the actual speedometer um but trust me i'm not pulling any funny stuff like it's gonna be like a start to 60 and we're gonna try to get a number here we have a nice flat open road it's just one long open road and so hopefully we can get a good run here i'm gonna pull out my stopwatch here as you can see this is what i'm gonna be running off of I'm gonna click, you know, start as soon as it's time to go, and I, you know, let off the brake and put the pedal down. And I'm gonna stop it as soon as it hits 60. So we're gonna we're gonna do this run here. This isn't gonna be like a perfect, you know, representation of it, but hopefully it can be a pretty good representation of the capability of this truck. Now you also have to keep in mind this is a two-wheel drive launch. Not a four-wheel drive launch, four high launch, just a two-wheel drive, rear-wheel drive, zero to 60. So we're gonna do our best. All of our temps are up. Oil temp is up to 190. Oil pressure is at 40. So we're gonna start building some boost here and we're gonna hit lap as soon as we let off the brake. That's tough to do guys, that is just really tough. Cause right there it stopped at 10 seconds, but these tires just spin. I mean, you cannot launch it. If it's not in four wheel drive, I mean, you just can't launch this truck. Um, we can try it again here, but it, it, guys, I'm telling you, it's really tough. So that was 10 seconds and it was just spinning and I was taking it easy and I kept letting out of the throttle because it was just, it was just spinner, but now like there's this whole road's flooded. You might be able to see it in the rear view. This whole road's flooded, so now it's like, what do you do? Now my tires are even more wet. I'm gonna build a little bit of boost. Start. That was 
nine seconds. But again, this thing just spins them back there. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it just, so this is, this is what's happening every time so far. It spins the tires out. I let off the throttle to try to gain some rolling traction and then I lay into it again. So like none of these have been like a true, I can just hold the pedal down and see what it gets. We're gonna try it one more time here. This is flat level ground up on a hill here. Let's see what we can do. It's at zero right now. Again, guys, it's just spinning. I can't launch it. We're gonna do it rolling at 10. Rolling at 10, started. I don't know if you can see the marks in the background. I can't do it. <laughs> I guess it's kind of a good problem to have, but like, I can't get this thing to hold traction. As soon as I give it any throttle, it just spins them out. Well, that pretty much sucked. Well guys, that was the worst zero to 60 video ever. I'm trying like my best to actually make a zero to 60 work in this truck. But guys, I'm telling you, with two turbos, wet pavement, you just can't do it. Even on dry pavement, when Mike was here to pick up his dually, trying to get this thing to launch, like as soon as you put pressure on the pedal, it's just spinning tires. Just spin and spin and spin, like just roast them. The tires aren't bald, I mean, they're mud terrain tires. It just doesn't get traction. I mean, it's a good problem to have, I guess, kind of, but uh, it's just tough. So the best we could do, you know, was nine seconds, and that was two or three times I think we did that, but that was spinning them the first probably 100 feet until it, they finally caught on enough. You want to help you start it? Mm -hmm. I know you've probably never driven a diesel before, but like, yeah. trust me, I can help you through this. I was trying to do like a zero to 60 video. Not gonna happen, dude. It's too much boost, no traction, doesn't work. So we're gonna go down the road and I'm going to kind of like, I don't know what we're doing here, really. Like, honestly, I'm gonna have, I'm trying to make something happen with lack of content to film right now, honestly. So um, I decided we're gonna have the lovely fiance. Miss Reagan, drive the twin turbo to about. So, let's go. enjoyed the video that we could get for you. I know that the zero to 60 didn't really turn out the way I hoped it would. Hopefully we were still able to tie some kind of content in there for you guys that you guys enjoyed and thought was worthy of leaving a like on this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to enter to win this truck. You guys have about four-ish weeks left to enter to win this truck. I'm not exactly sure what time it is when you see this video, but it ends July 14th. So do not miss out. Enter while you can. Every $15 is another entry to win. And one more thing I want to clear up because I haven't said this in a long time. All of the orders that you place throughout the term of the giveaway get added all together to one giant number and then divided out by 15. So let's say you place one order, two orders, or three orders, or four orders. It all gets added together 
and then divide it out. So whatever your total is for the term of the giveaway is what gets counted, not like every order has to be a certain amount to equal a certain amount of entries. And then like if there's extra change that almost was an entry but not quite, and then you place another order, it all gets added together to make sure every penny is accounted for and you get credit for everything that you spent. So thank you guys so much. Information in the description below. Get entered to win this truck while you can. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.